Hello everyone, Isabella Cruz here, global makeup artist and trainer for BTK. And I'm with this beautiful lady over here. Thank you, Chocolati. <laughs> I'm dying, she's gorgeous, and Thank I can't you. wait to start to do your look. How much we love this palette? This palette, the new palette Burn to Run from Urban Decay, yay! Yay, it's amazing, and it's a palette that you can do at any look, anytime, anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with that day look today. Yeah. And then we make you a little bit party, an event, a night out. <laughs> night out. Perfect. So let's start with the day look. Mm -hmm. And then I show the step by step how to get a perfect, flawless eye makeup for any event, daily event. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> and Shog already has prepared her skin. She has a prep spray. That's the B6. All Nighter Foundation. That's her favorite. Concealer from all nighter as well, long lasting 24 hours, waterproof mm -hmm. and mattifying. My favorite product. <laughs> Yay! Mine too. So it's gonna be funny if I say no, but yeah, it's amazing. And we already primer her eyes with the eyeshadow primer potion original. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start with a base color just to even out the whole entire lid. So I'm gonna use Weekender with a fluffy brush just to make sure whenever we started to put it on colors, it doesn't pat. It's the easiest step, but very, very important. It's just a light dust. You don't need to put a lot of product to make the look stand out. Shog has a beautiful skin color Thank and you. I can't wait to show which is one of my favorite ones, like more of a neutral, it's not an orangey, but it has a brown with yeah, yellow, brown, so it's a yeah. sienna. So I'm just gonna frame where is her crease. And with the same brush that we used priorly, that's the blending one, we're gonna blend the edges, just to have more of a smooth and flattering effect. Same step on the other side. You apply with a brush and with a clean brush, you just blend the edges. And then you can make a darker, you build the color without hurry. Can you turn your face a little bit? Usually I like to frame the eyes with the same color that I use for the transition. So I will come back to Reef. And now let's play a little bit with some dimension on bright colors. Okay. One of my favorite shades for this palette, that's called Steel Shot. So this one gonna be as only at the movable lid. You press the color on the lid without spreading because you just wanted the color but not a feather effect now. You wanted the color really to pop. So now I'm gonna go for something a little bit more brighter. That's called it Blaze. Everything we use from the first line is all the neutrals and all the basic colors that you can be safe. Down to open up the eyes and break it up. I will take a little bit of punk. So here you don't need to be so precise. Just respect the line from her eyebrows where you need to stop. Add a little bit of dimension without changing the color of your previous. Don't need to go all the way. This needs to go very, very close to the lash line. If you put mascara down, just take in consideration how goes your cheekbones. If you put too much on the center and down here, it can happen that you're going to smudge it on your cheek. Same from the side on the out corner. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the day look. If you'd like to know how we're gonna transform the day look in a night look, just keep on watching. <laughs>